Hello. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. well, <laughs> we didn't talk about who was going to say anything. So uh, True, true. Well, welcome to the University of Minnesota Intramural Draft Season 2. Season 2. Uh, I'm TMI. Going to be on the draft desk today. Yeah, I'm Guku. Julian. I will also be on the draft desk in case that wasn't obvious. <laughs> yeah, we're just all on the draft desk. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Froble, also on the draft desk. Um... <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm I'm Koala King, and you can kind of assume what what comes next. Uh, I am also sitting here at this beautiful virtual desk in downtown Busan. Yeah. Well. Uh, uh, so we each made like a mock draft, and you're not allowed to make fun of it, chat. Okay. Uh, make fun of, you can make fun of mine. I mean, you are a lot. We're gonna make fun of each other's. Uh. But basically, we went through like the first two rounds, and we're going to see what each person thought of for the first two rounds of picks. Uh, the first pick is Mikey. I'm, I'm waiting until I can actually see the other people's draft. <laughs> Give me a second. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Um, you can see a lot of us actually thought uh, Roar was going to get picked up first. Um, probably, I know you were like the first person to submit your draft. Why do you think yeah. that is? Uh, you know, I know Roar is kind of close friends with Mikey. Roar is also just a great tank overall. And, um, I'm actually, he's going in his, his preferred role as main support, but overall, he's just a really flexible player. He provides a lot of game knowledge to the game. Um, a very useful asset to really any team. I think, uh, I think he's a pretty solid choice for first pick. Yeah. Adam, why do you think Khan's going to be first pick? All right. Well, for, I'll start by making my argument against Roar being the first pick. So... We all know that he's an insane tank, right? His ball is just like, I don't know, probably one of the best like player champion combinations at the university. Uh, but he did not uh, sign up for a tank. He signed up for support. And I really think that, you know, if you're Mikey, you're looking for that super high value, that like carry pick for your first pick of the entire draft and while i think roar is a phenomenal pick i on the support i just don't think he provides as much value as say like a con on the flex dps i think that makes sense Tamara, right. what, what are you here's, <laughs> here's my argument, right? I think right. there is tremendous amount of value to be had when you're picking a player that's you know, higher elo on their main role, but they're playing on a lower role. Um, because, you know, you're picking them up, they, they cost less SR, since, uh, in case anyone doesn't know, uh, teams have to be within an SR um, average. So they have to be, the average SR has to be below a set amount, which I think is the league average plus 150. Um, and so you kind of building, you want to build your team to, to be well-rounded. And I think you're getting tremendous value by picking up someone that can play at a higher level uh, than their SR and the role may dictate, uh, just because of their game knowledge. Uh, not to mention, I mean, Roar is just, you know, a, a very solid support player. Could probably climb uh, higher than 3,700 if, you know, he put the time uh, and took the time away from his tank gameplay. So like you're just you're just taking up tremendous value to get a, a very solid shot caller, a very solid team player, a very solid um, just communicator all around. So is that the same reason you put me as third pick? Yeah, honestly, that's why that's why I put you as third <laughs> okay, pick. Okay, all right. I, put, I, you I under Con. put you under Con though. He's just he's just simply too good. Yeah, I I think my big takeaway from last year's draft or not last well I guess still last year's uh, was Con Con got a, took a long time to get picked up, and I think. I'd expect him to be in these first three, almost guaranteed. Um, I think once you start getting into, like, basically fourth through 16th, uh, that's, that's where it's a little harder to call. I think if you're not picking up Roar, like, Booney, Khan, uh, one of these, like, strong players in their roles, um, I think you're uh, making a mistake if you're one of these first picks. You know, speaking of speaking of SR value, the the pick I'm really looking for, fourth pick overall, Speedy. Speedy listed uh, their SR at 2,500. I think they're floating around high plat right now. So you know, you're getting some value out of it. But you know, picking up a plat player in the first round, what's what's the logic behind that, Julian? It's the value play. I think Speedy performed very well last season. Uh, 
especially, and I'm sure they learned a lot doing so. Also, the fourth pick is Corey. So I know they got like a buddy buddy thing going. So we're gonna I, I that was kind of my thought process. Um it's it's kind of similar to why I think Cobalt might be in the fifth pick, but I think it's always hard to tell with Riley. Corey, I think I think Invictus would be I I think Speedy would be a good pickup for Corey. Okay. I mean probably you put you, you, you get put synergy st- and uh yeah. <laughs> Probably, uh, probably you put you put you put Khan in uh, at the same rank as Speedy. Do you think Khan and Speedy are the, are the same <laughs> yeah. same value? I I don't think they're the same value. I would uh I would say Khan is a very very high player. Um, but I I don't also think that it's unrealistic that uh, Corey does end up picking Speedy up uh, first or second round. Uh, we saw last uh, last season Speedy and Corey. Corey wants to play that off tank again. Speedy obviously going to play that main tank again. They had some really good synergy together. Uh, one of the one of the best tank duos in the league, honestly. I can uh, I can definitely see Corey going for a little risky pick, picking up Speedy first. But I uh, I also think that uh, that Khan just is so so good at what he does that that. I, it... All right. <laughs> but yeah, I just think Khan's too too high value. All right. So. All right. Oh. As you can see in the bottom left corner. Uh, we've got the new on the clock graphics to, to show who's picking right now. So right now we're gonna we're gonna wait to see who the first pick uh, is for University of Minnesota. Uh, maybe it'll be someone completely different. Maybe maybe we'll all be wrong. Maybe we can all eat our shoes or whatever footwear we're wearing at the moment. Yeah, I, I think it really. I mean, if I was the one picking right now, I'd be picking you know Roar Khan, one of these really strong players that you know if you need to you could you know trade or do whatever with later on. Well, it's in, so... Well. Hello, I'm the Commissioner. I am basically a voice in the sky of this stream because I couldn't set up a webcam to transition everything. So, here we go, everybody. Welcome to Season 2 of the Go Overwatch League. With the first pick in the 2021 draft, the Saigon Swan Select Khan Flex DPS. Wow. All right. Not totally unexpected, but pretty solid pick for the first pick, I'd say. Yeah, maybe maybe Mikey saw that one person ranked uh, Roar in the bottom half of the group and said, I, I can take that risk. Well, I, think, I, mean, I, I think his pick makes a lot of sense, though. I would like everyone to note, uh, Adam Adam actually put himself for the first pick on his draft sheet. He, cr- <laughs> he crossed it out and wrote Khan after, so technically, you know, he's not he's not right. I don't think any of us are right, because he picked, he picked himself yeah. first, so he's, none yeah, of us I think are that's right. Gonna be, that's going to be everyone's uh, draft, mock drafts are in, are in shambles right now, obviously. You know, I was feeling really good about this draft. I've been putting in the work in the new Bounty Hunter mode. You know, I've been I've been grinding, but unfortunately, uh, Khan's legacy, his prestige, you know, it was just a little too much for me to overcome. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the next, do we think Boonie's a pretty good pick? I could see Roar getting picked up here as well. I think uh, OKS picking up a strong main tank would be pretty reasonable. I think so. I think we're about to find out. Picks yeah, in. That's true. Picks in. And with the second pick in the 2021 draft. The Raikon Raccoon Select Roar main support. All right. Yeah, I think that makes sense. We all we all we all that's not all that coming, you know. Yep. Value, gotta get the value. Yeah. Uh, ooh, so we're gonna nice. have an interview with uh, Roar. Welcome. Oh, hello. How does it feel to get picked up as the second pick in the 2021? As the second pick? Uh, well, you know, I was gunning for the first pick. But I think... Uh, hold on, I had the stream in the background. I actually hear myself. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised, but I think it's reasonable. I think Guku and uh, and Khan are both really strong picks. Uh, probably better than my fl- my uh, support. But, you know, I've been practicing the, the Brig. I'm just surprised. I was playing quick play with Mikey. I'm just surprised that he wasn't like terribly impressed with my break in quick play, and he didn't just like see the value right there and pick me off of that. Yeah, but, that's all. You know, that's I, always I feel bad. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you just you didn't do well in the combine, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But yeah. but pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll play ball uh, in in another season maybe, but I think uh, playing support here keeps things nice and fun, you know. Until I see some fellow ballers out there. Yeah, 
if I could ask a question. So you were one of the captains in our last season, right? How does it feel transitioning from the captain position to now being a player? How is that? How's this draft feeling a little different for you? I know we're only two picks in, but. Oh, I actually wasn't a captain uh, last season. Oh, but, wait. But I was the highest SR <laughs> player on the, on the Green League Goblins. The I was actually picked up Ooh. by Trey. And uh, the oh, best of my was the, the team Fedora match. Okay. Okay. That, that was my mistake then. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. I mean, well, this draft, I, I definitely wanted to keep things spicy, though. Uh, hence, like, not not queuing the main tank. Uh, so for this one, whereas the last one, I was, like, really looking to, like, uh, you know, prove my place. This time, I, I think I've studied the ball, and I've just, like, my, my hero, Albert Einstein, uh, once said, ball is life, and I really took that to heart last season. And I think I've achieved that. So now I, I really just want to, you know, go all out on the brig here. So... Uh, looking to prove myself in a different different way, you know? And with that, I think the next pick is in. So we're going to say goodbye to Roar. Any you guys? Goofers? I think I think, I think think this is Goku's time to be a monkey. I, uh, I agree Big with monkey that man. sentiment. I think this is, this is Goku, no doubt. Really? I, I, I would not pick myself here. And with oh, the he, third oh, he's pick, so humble. <laughs> and with the third pick in the 2021 draft, the Moon Monkey is select. Boom, 1011, off tank. Oh, you oh, know, yeah. we were really, you know, we were talking about this. We were talking about this. You know, no one. He's kind of coming in from left field. No one, no one really knows who Boom is, but he's got he's got the SR to back. So like, you know, yeah. Let's see. Let's let's see them. Let's see them play. Let's I see mean, what they also, got. It, it, we talked about bef- before this. We talked about having strong tank lines uh, off camera, but uh, I think str- having strong tank lines is really important here. So having Orion and Boom is a tank, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, yeah okay. boom, boom, an boom, boom is, a, is an off tank. And so now you have this, you know, honestly, like 3,900 average at least uh, tank line, which is very strong for this league. Yeah, I definitely see them taking that and uh, rolling a few other teams with that. Um, hopefully they can pick up a support line to help out the tanks a little bit there. But it's pretty, pretty solid pick. Let's see if it uh, pans out. Well, let's see what let's let's see what Corey's been fishing for. The pick for is in. And with the fourth pick in the 2021 draft, the Farmington Fishermen select Invictus Hitscan DPS. I called that. I you did call that. Coming. Yeah. I, I mean, Invictus is the highest SR uh, DPS available, isn't it? Yep. And I yeah. think they worked together yep. on the, the Muskies last uh, season. They did pretty good together. So I can see Corey trying to uh, pick, up the, pick up some of his teammates, try to make it happen again go for another victory of the entire uh, season. Yeah, I will say uh, one thing that's really nice about Invictus is to, you know, boost him up a little bit. I think uh, a lot of our hitscan DPS on the on the roster uh, play a lot, like they they play hitscan, like one or two hitscans to a really high level. I think Invictus can get at least three to a high level, so proud of him. Yeah, flexibility is going to be really key, especially uh, if the meta is developing... And we get a new meta in midseason. Like having some flexibility is going to be great. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do we think the next pick is going to be? Koala. Uh, well, I had Invictus being my next pick, so that one's out the door. But you know, Riley's playing the tank. I think this this season, so um, he could just be going for Booney right here since he's playing off tank and yeah. Uh, Booney would be a really good, strong main tank pick. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's a pretty strong pick. I don't have anything else, but the pick is in. And with the fifth pick in the 2021 draft, the Richfield Rats select Booney main tank. All right. Pat yourselves on the back, guys. You did it. <laughs> that was I definitely didn't see it already crossed off on the spreadsheet or anything. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> This man's cheating. <laughs> Definitely not me on the spreadsheet, like looking for Booney's name and then being unable to find it since it is blacked out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I mean that's that's gonna be quite the tank line. I am not super excited to play against that at any point. Uh, you know, just the unbridled aggression of Booney, uh, while also being able to, you know, stay alive seemingly forever yeah i think it uh makes sense as a pick 
I think Booney probably. I mean, a lot of us had Booney in his t- their top four, so I think it makes sense mm-hmm. to him get picked up here at number five or six. I don't know what we're on. The pick is in though for the Excellent. next one. And with the sixth pick in the 2021 draft, the Buenos Aires Beebles select Papa Triste main tank. Main tank. That's so. That's, a that's an off roll for but, yeah. Uh, that's an off roll for Papa Triste. Yeah, that's that's kind of interesting. I originally had Papa Triste going in the third round to Orion because I know Orion wants a strong support line, and Papa Triste is. The second highest main support after Roar, who was already picked up. Um, so to see her go as a main tank is actually really surprising to me. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, we can bring her in for an interview. See what. what Man, you're really about. doing Madam President dirty. I, I, definitely first round material. So, um, how are you doing, Madam President? Good, good. Was there a question? I did not hear it. No, yeah, I, guess, I guess. I guess. Uh, I guess. My, my question. My question is: How do you feel being selected for your off roll? Um, I honestly wasn't expecting it. Um, you know, putting in uh, tank as one of my roles was kind of a meme play, but um, <laughs> I appreciate that Cap sees something in my main tank, and hopefully, I do not disappoint him with my um, left click only Reinhardt. Do you uh do you see this as a friendship pick? Um, definitely. I I think Cass is trying to make a revival of the old team four, and um, I don't know if that's the best play, but um, I'm definitely a supporter of it. I mean, can that even ha- wait? Hold up. Don't think too hard. Who else is even here? <laughs> I know, etc. Is here. Yeah. And, okay. So there you go. Et <laughs> um, Riley. Oh yeah, but Riley's a captain, right? So, oh, true. Yeah. Rip. I don't know. <laughs> then I guess it's just me and Elliot. Yeah. So you know, it, half pretty, of Team Four is two. <laughs> pretty nice revival. They, they, they've stuff. got the core. <laughs> they got yeah. They yeah. got the core. The, the carry. <laughs> the thrower. Where's, wait, where's Seth? Where's Seth? <laughs> oh, Seth the you don't want him on our team. We'll, we'll yeah. Oh, wait. Hold up. <laughs> He's and a with free that, agent. Uh, the next pick is in, so let's say goodbye to Papa Triste. Bye, guys. And we can see what the next team is picking. And with the seventh pick in the 2021 draft, the Nepalese Narwhal select, etc. Hitscan DPS. Well, there goes the Team 4 dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will say it. So we talked about, a little bit about this before, and I said I, I don't actually think that picking up hit scans in the first round is going to be as worth it, but uh, clearly people are showing me that's wrong uh, mm. with Invictus and etc. going. I mean, they're, they're just two great hit scan players. Like, what can yeah, I no. say? They're, they're playmakers. I mean, it's true. You, you can see Xerra sometimes just pop off on Widow and kill the entire team, winning a team fight single-handedly. You know, that's a pretty valuable asset to just have on your team. On top of that, I'm pretty sure Purple Jesus and etc. are uh, pretty pretty good friends or at least acquaintances with one another. So uh, I can definitely see them having some synergy going into this and uh, could make an exciting team. Yeah, and I forget the name of the next team picking, but... Uh, should be, <laughs> oh, should be the, booties. <laughs> yeah, the Steron Jeste Blievskia Smelly Boonies, I believe it's pronounced. Yeah. Well, and so what do we think they're going to pick here? Because that's Bonesy as the captain. Oh, I forget. Yep. I think yep. they take. I think they take Frobble. I think Frobble is a great pick. After going unearthed for the entirety <laughs> of the last draft, uh, I think Frobble would make a good pick. I am still a big fan of the Frobble and Brobble combo. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. I I think I think it'd be smart to pick some good supports and tanks up here. I don't think if you're Bonesy, you care about DPS at all at this point. He is the DPS, but let's exactly. let's find out. And he gets two picks, right? Yeah. Because it's Snake Draft, all right? With the eighth pick in the 2021 draft, uh, these Stutter Pump and Blitzkia Smelly Boonies select Frobble, Flex Support, and with the ninth overall pick in the 2021 draft, the Stutter Pump Blitzkia Smelly <laughs> Boonies select Goku, Main Tank. You put me on main tank. <laughs> oh. um, let me give me a second, real quick. <laughs> we'll, get him. We'll, get him. Well, well, I'll give my opinions. I feel like we got a pretty strong team going into this. You know, 
Uh, that's really all I got to say. I think we'll, we'll definitely prove it in our games. Very excited to play again with, uh, with Bonesy. Gugu, a newcomer this season, not to the UMN Overwatch circuit. Uh, excited to play with him as well. You know, it's an honor being, being a first-round pick, technically. After uh, going so late last time, glad I could prove myself. Uh, but yeah, exciting stuff. I can't believe you put me on main tank. Well, <laughs> you, uh, I was, yeah, I was gonna you. say, I was gonna say when I was when I was doing my you know draft uh, mock draft, I was I was wondering who was gonna be the one to start uh, you know off off rolling people. I was not expecting Papa Triste to go off roll, but you know, seeing the lack of main tanks, there's there's definitely the thought that you know the Goku ball would make a return. Don't sleep on my boy Brobble, pretty high rated main tank. Might be going soon. Gotta <laughs> Yeah, true. Gotta consider him. Frobble and Brobble lined hey. up again. Hey, it looks like we're gonna have a pick for the Nepalese narwhals. And with the tenth pick in the 2021 draft, the Nepalese narwhals select Cobalt Flex DPS. That's a you know what? I I honestly thought Cobalt might go a little higher. Uh, he... Although, sorry, go. <laughs> I was gonna say I know I know he's got some some scheduling issues um, that might might mean he might not make every game. Uh, is a great is a great Valorant player. So if you want someone to peek your peek corners, you know that's your man. Yeah, I I don't know about picking up two DPS in the first round. I again I for the two billionth time at, in the last hour, I am a big fan of tanks and supports in the first round. I think. Uh, Unfortunately, not many people have picked tanks and supports in the first round, and I guess maybe maybe the DPS carry, but I don't know. I think this is a pretty similar. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, I, I think. This oh, is go a, ahead, go ahead. Yeah, pretty similar strat to what they did last uh, last season with the uh, Roseville Raiders, where they had a pretty strong DPS line with uh, Purple Jesus's tank. They had a uh, Mikey, etc. Last uh, last season. This time mm -hmm. they got Cobalt, etc. Uh, I think they got they can make things work. I think they only had a little struggle with the SR cap, but we do have the next pick with the uh, with the Beebles, so uh, it's pretty interesting. And with the eleventh pick in the 2021 draft, the Buenos Aires Beebles select BBQ Hit Scan DPS. Another, I mean, we're we're talking about DP. I mean, BBQ, great DPS, great hit scan, right? But like, we're we're still talking like these are these are a lot of DPS getting picked up. Um, and you know, if you if you look at the spreadsheet, there was there was definitely a, a buffet of good DPS to be to be taken from. Uh, so it, I gotta I gotta agree with you, Julian. It does kind of per perplex me, maybe a little bit, um, especially since like the off tank pool, like the off tank pool for main roles is kind of is a little drier than last season. Like I thought off tanks would be gobbled up pretty quickly. Yeah, it. I mean, last season didn't have many off tanks either. It's just. To me, for to make a good team in this league, I think you really need a strong flex support and a strong main tank, or or at least a strong off tank. Um, and so the fact that a lot of these teams are picking up hit scan DPS, it's hard to do anything on hit scan DPS when you can't have the space created to you by your tanks, right? And so uh, I don't know. I, I I mean, I guess they'll all go to the third round. Everything will be fine. So. <laughs> Well, uh, Guku, you said that the two the two roles you want to see are a strong main tank tank and a strong flex support. Uh, could you remind me what what two roles uh, you signed up for? Yeah, I think uh, I think Guku just thinks he's the best player in the world. Honestly, <laughs> well, those are my secondary and third roles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, with the next one, the, the next picks in. <laughs> And with the 12th pick in the 2021 draft, the Richfield Rats select Fedora Master Flex DPS. It's an interesting pick. Uh, still talking about DPS, that's another one. Torb Specialist, sometimes put them on Bastion, pretty strong Bastion as well. Um, excited to see what they plan on doing, maybe build around the Torb and some of their comps. Definitely one of the more interesting picks so far uh, this early on. But... Uh, Ex really, really interested to see how they make this work. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I've already stated what I think about these. <laughs> <laughs> Many DPS are getting picked up. You know, yeah. I thought, I really thought Shadow, if the next DPS I thought was going to be Shadow Blue Jay, I mean, like, Fedora Master's 
a great player and like so much fun to watch. But like their their uh, their pool is a little limited, especially compared to Shadow Blue Jay that can flex onto onto more roles. And I think can flex onto the onto the flex DPS. Yeah, I think the next pick is already in. So sorry, Fedora, you do not get an interview. Um, so we can move on to that. And with the 13th pick in the 2021 draft, the Farmington Fishermen select Speedy main tank. Yeah, I don't think this one surprises any of us. Uh, Corey Speedy, the Synergy is just already there. They're good friends. Uh, really, really just a clear pick. Uh, solid pick for a second round, too. Speedy really did improve last season and is still uh, sitting at uh, 2,500, I think, on the uh, on the draft sheet. Uh, Speedy is a great value pick. Can yeah. keep that SR cap down, especially given how much skill that Speedy just brings to the team. Yeah, I think Speedy's a great example of a player that plays above the SR, right? Um, you need to stay below that cap, right? That's a big part of this. And so picking up these players that are low SR but can play like, you know, 200, 300, 500 SR above their level, um, if we actually can, you know, visualize that in any way, um, is really valuable. And I think Speedy is one of those players. I, I do wonder, right? Because... Picking up, we, we have all these, you know, you go from top to bottom in the draft generally, right? Like, you pick up the high SR players first. Is Do we see any uh, lower SR players getting picked up soon, or is it just going to continue to just go straight down in the line? Maybe. What I do see is the Monkeys have another pick. <laughs> and with the 14th pick in the 2021 draft, the Moon Monkeys select Rex Acta Flex Support. Yeah. There you go. Support okay. player to... Support player to... to Solidify the lineup. I think that's a great pick. Yeah. And now I'm forgetting who picked what, but we're going to just roll with it. So um, that, is, that, that is then the lineup of Orion. Yeah, who did who? Orion. Yeah. Boom, boom, one, zero, and one, boom one. 10 and 11. Oh, boom 10 and 11. Oh, that's a great line. I yeah, like that. You got, yeah. It's, it's tanks. That you, <laughs> two tanks. Now you got the support. I mean... Yep. And now you can pretty much get by with whatever, I think. Like, not obviously mm -hmm. you want to get the best players you can, right? But I think having that, that's a really strong base to build around. Um, and now we're running out of main tanks as well. And, and flex tanks. We're running out of tanks. I mean, with all these DPS picks coming in, you know, you think there's going to be a shortage of main tanks? I mean, most teams already have a main tank because I got picked up as a main tank. Being it picked up. Oh, true. True, true. Any the true pick. And with the 15th pick in the 2021 draft, the Rito Raccoon select Arctic hitscan DPS. That's another really good player, really good pick. Um, similar to Speedy, even though even though Arctic's sitting at a almost 3,200 on the draft sheet, I'd say Arctic's playing way above the line, the SR line. Just an insane player, can flex on the many, many hitscan DPS. One of the best hitscans in uh, in the league, in my opinion, um, just a, an amazing pick, and is really going to help out the uh, the team already, and give them at least one person in each role that's really strong in what they do. Oh, Ooh, let's do yeah. it! Let's do it! We're bringing them in for an interview. Trey. Oh. oh, hello, Adam. Now you can ask your question. All right. Uh, so Trey, uh -huh, what? Uh -huh. uh, see, seeing this team you've been picked up on. Right, what heroes are you hoping to play for them? Because we've seen your widow, which is clean. We've seen yeah, the tracer. Yeah, I wouldn't say that we, one. We we've we've seen all these, you know, just outstanding performances last season from you. What are you hoping to play, tracer? Is there any particular reason? Do you think she's fun? Do you think she has that carry potential? You think she's a team player? Well, yeah. what, what are what are you hoping to accomplish? You know, with? another DPS are just kind of you know for hits game, just see you how know, point and click. You know, a little boring, a little boring. You know, Trace is a little more fun than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> nice analysis. I mean, I, I got I got two Tracer only accounts. Like, might as well play Tracer. Two Tracer yeah. only accounts. Hey, it shows. It really does. Well, I'm excited. Right. I'm excited to see the Arctic Tracer, but it looks like the, yeah. the Swans are back up. Yeah. Oh yeah, Frabo, you should have you should have done what I told you. You had the perfect opportunity. All right, Trey, I'll think about it going forward. But you should have done it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Man, get him out of here. 
right, and with the right. 16th pick in the 2021 draft, the Saigon Swans select Brobel, Bane Tank. And with the 17th pick in the 2021 draft, uh, the Saigon Swans select Kef, Flex Support. All right, another tank and another support. Uh, I'm sure, Guku, you're pretty happy about that. Yeah, I think picking up tanks and supports is uh, very good. Give me a second to fill out my uh, draft. A little disappointed that Bravo <laughs> got picked up. I was kind of hoping that maybe we could make something happen, but it uh, looks like we'll just be uh, enemies on other teams uh, in this league. But yeah. uh, definitely a very uh, looks like a very strong line for them. Uh, yeah, this... Uh, already have a strong uh, strong DPS lineup, and then getting Bravo on that main tank can really help them make some space and then get uh, help the DPS get some kills in. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, with Mikey, yeah. On, with Mikey on the DPS, just, like, making space is really all you need. I guess you don't, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, you don't really need, like, a, a tank that's going to frag because you've got Mikey to frag. You just want a tank that will do his job, do their job, make space, a support that can keep them up, uh, and then, you know, just, just let Mikey frag. I agree. You know, it's worth noting, uh, Booney said he's, he's just a voice in the sky, but clearly he's sitting right next to me, so I really don't, don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right, I guess I... Picks in. Yeah, the next picks in. Thank you for that extremely natural transition there, Tomer. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> the, with the 18th pick in the 2021 draft, the Reader Raccoon select Adapt main support. All right, so uh, it looks like it looks like uh, you know Oct on the tank, right? Uh, they're off tank. They just picked up, right? Uh, <laughs> Dude, I'm losing track of the picks. <laughs> Uh, and then and then they got their two supports, right? I uh, am am a little, you know, worried. I'd say about uh, you know, what tanks that Ox is is gonna be playing. So Ox, you know, they on their form they they put Diva Sigma Zarya, right? And I think if I remember correctly, Ox picked up. Um, was was Ox Brabel? Is that correct? Uh, I think Mikey was was Brabel. Uh, so yeah, Mikey picked up Brabel. Yep, hmm. literally just a minute ago, Adam. Ox, <laughs> yeah. Ox was uh, it's, it's, a, it's a mess out here. <laughs> Ox was Arctic and uh, and Roar. And Roar, okay. Oh, so they're 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 a little more spread than I thought. So uh, I'd say I'd say uh, like in in each position. They have like one kind of kind of superstar so so far. We'll see. We'll see if they can you know find people to fill the gaps. But I think that's a pretty pretty good like core to start off with. Yeah, and the the next pick for the Moon Monkeys, I think, is in soon. Well, it's Maybe. not. It doesn't. I mean, it's not. Not, not, in. not in yet. <laughs> well, it's in in, now. It, no, it's in. No, uh, it's in. <laughs> he has the insider information. With the number 19 pick in the 2021 draft, the Moon Monkeys select Strudel main support. That's a, okay, they've got super solid tank line, super solid support line. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, the Moon Monkeys, they're looking, uh, they're looking pretty good. They yeah, might uh, ape out a little bit this season. I'm a little worried about the SR cap for the Moon Monkeys right now. Ooh, I mean, I, I'd have to point. do the math. Um... Oh, true, true. I can use the very verify SR thing. Give me a second. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so I think what the meta was shaping out to be, at least like a couple weeks ago, was double bubble. Is that correct? Double uh, bubble. Double bubble is pretty good. I mean, Sigma's is still pretty good. Ryan's Aria is more viable, and everyone played it anyways in ranked. So. Yeah, yeah, Ryanzaria so, is just easy yeah. to run, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a lot of Ryanzaria. Yeah, especially yeah. In so yeah. What 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 I'm thinking, right, is we we've got we've got Mr. Monkey himself, uh, Orion, right, and then we've got 
Frudel, who signed up for Ana Brigido Lucio. So probably the Ana there. And then uh, I think that was also uh, Rex Acta was Orion's earlier pick. And Rex has the Zen, Bap, Ana, Lucio. So I think I think we're going to be seeing a lot of like either just full dive or double bubble dive. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. The next pick is in. And with the 20th pick in the 2021 draft, the Farmington Fishmen select Trancy main support. Hmm. Okay, that's... I think that's pretty good for the Farmington Fishermen. Uh, do they have a full tank and support line after that? I'm uh, trying to count. Uh, I, no, because they picked up a they picked up a DPS. They, yeah, they picked up, yeah, they picked up Invictus first, first round. Invictus so I mean, I mean that they still nonetheless with that they have a pretty solid back front line. They're not going to go above SR cap. Like Corey has two 2500s now, right? Yeah. And so he's got like that stuff to even out some higher picks if he needs to trade or get those later on. And I mean, again, just to bring it up, this is this is looking up to be a uh, uh, Muskies 2.0. Train C, also a member of the Muskies. Corey's trying to run it back, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, it looks like the, the pick is in. Yeah, yeah pick is in, but... Uh... <laughs> and with the 21st pick in the 2021 draft, the Richfield Rats select Shadow Blue Jay, hit scan DPS. Yeah. I think Shadow Blue Jay is a great pick. Uh, we saw how well he would perform last semester. Um, and I think I'd expect that similar performance. It's uh, very consistent, very good. So, so as, oh, okay, interview time. Let's go. Hello. Okay. Hello, Mr. Shadow Blue Jay. I've got a question for you this time. Um, so how do you, how do you see yourself, uh, how, like, how do you see your role on the team? Do you see yourself as kind of a, a fragger or do you just see yourself as a solid a solid player that that supports the rest of his team uh you know you saw my widow last season right yeah so take that up a level that's where i am right now oh oh, oh. i like the confidence all right like now etc may have beat me in the 1v1s but i'm gonna beat him on the battlefield oh Ooh. Okay, this is high. Still, still holding a grudge out there. I see. <laughs> I like it. All right, and the next pick is in already for the Buenos Aires Beebles. So we will say goodbye to uh, Shadow Blue Jay. Bye bye. We'll get our next pick. And with the twenty-second pick in the two thousand and twenty-one draft, the Buenos Aires Beebles select Viraladane main support. I mean, they have etc. Right. Uh, the Beebles? No. No, I don't think oh, so. That's just They're cool. narwhals, dude. That's <laughs> <laughs> just cool. Been the next big, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you don't get the god duo, but, uh... You I, know? I mean, Viraladane's a great support player. Uh, probably one of the best first seasons in the league, to be honest. Speaking of, uh, great support players, I'm starting to see kind of another Frobble situation. Uh, if you're looking at the main support... Kokiri with 35-48, you know, Master's support player on the main support. Lucio Mercy can flex over to the Moira. Uh, still, isn't, still hasn't been picked up. Maybe we're, maybe we're seeing another Frobble scenario. Frobble, yeah. how does it feel to pass on the, the Frobble gauntlet? I gotta tell you, it felt pretty bad at the time, but I feel like just being drafted so late when you know you're such a good player is kind of just an advantage for your team. Your team gets all these good picks, and then they get you so late afterwards because everyone else is sleeping on you. I think I think uh, it's a little painful right now, but I'm sure Kakiri will uh, will be able to smile once uh, once they realize how hard they can carry their team. I I think this is one what we consider an L, or at least the young kids would say it. <laughs> um, because unfortunately, I think based on the picks that a lot of teams have gotten, the main support seems to be the role where you see a lot of players that are fairly, I don't want to say low S. I mean they're they're lower SR, right? Like the the average SR in the main support role is going to be lower. Um, and so I think people are thinking they can balance out their their SRs by picking up a lower main support, which means Kokiri might just get passed by like Frobble to like the last round. <laughs> but who knows? I, I mean, I hope not. I mean, we, well, maybe we can pick them up on the on our team. At least they're shooting for the award at the end of the season, you know? That's a nice yeah. little benefit. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's this. Narwhals have their pick in. 
And with the 23rd pick in the 2021 draft, the Nepalese Narwhals select Macro Flex Support. Yeah. Macro was the highest SR flex support left in the pool. I think it makes a lot of sense to pick up a strong flex support player. Makes total sense to me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I played with Macro last semester, and, you know, they 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 were pretty good. They, their Lucio uh, was always just, you know, flying around uh, Ilios, just harassing the back line. Of course, the, the team itself didn't, exactly turn out the way that we wanted it to but you know uh, that that was through no no fault of macro yeah okay yeah we can have macro in it hello macro hey what's up so uh you've recently taken up the mantle as competitive yes. lead for overwatch is there anything you would like to say to all your people while on stream um i was just to say that you know i'm enjoying uh, being down to, I guess, the new leader in a sense. So, and uh, I hope to take us to to good places in the future. That's great. How do you feel about being uh, picked up? What do you What do you think of your team? What are your first thoughts? I didn't think I'd be going to Nepal. That's for sure. Uh, but you know what? I think any team, I think any team I'd be picked on, I think I'd pop off regardless. So. I don't think it makes a difference in the end. I'm going to be popping off, clicking heads regardless, pooping people off the map. It is what it is. Awesome. Uh, well, with that, we're going to say goodbye to Macro because the next pick is in. And with the 24th pick in the 2021 draft, the star from Blimblitzkia, Smelly Boonies, select Music Maniac. And with the 25th pick in the 2021 draft, the star from Blimblitzkia, Smelly Boonies, select the Nort Logic, off tank. Oh, our, dude, our lineup's goaded. Okay, I'm calling the championship now. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Gugu, you're you're on you're on the Smelly Boonies, correct? Yeah. So we'll you've got the you've got the absolute uh, like goat synergy with you and Music Maniac. Yeah. How how does it how does it feel to have that that you know connection there? I mean, uh, I've known him since I was very young. One might say since uh, he was born. Uh, and, uh, I'm gonna train him up. He's gonna be the best Lucio in this league by the end of it, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. I'm uh, ready Frabble, Frabble, how does that make you feel? You know, uh, I have full faith in Guku. I just feel like our team's gonna be great no matter what happens. Um, very exciting pick. I like seeing him start on the, uh, lower SR. That definitely, uh, helps us with the SR cap. I, uh, I just think it's gonna be definitely one of, uh, one of the, uh, Cinderella stories at the end when... Just talking about how good Music Maniac ended up because of Goku. Yeah. Hello, Nort. Hello. The how Northern does it feel to be part of the winning team? <laughs> uh, it feels fantastic, you know? Um, gonna bring this team to victory with everyone else. We're all gonna play our parts and shit, you know? <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx anything, but the the casters, the analyst desks from last semester seem to make a couple mistakes on their prediction. Uh, yeah. So with with with, with that your team mind, specifically, <laughs> <laughs> there was there were a multitude of errors, not just one team in particular. But uh, yeah, how does it feel? Uh, getting pumped up yet again by the analyst desk um feels good um i this time live up to the hype you know that's how it's gonna be this is gonna be better like that i, I, don't, I don't know what else to say <laughs> that was <a> mean. <laughs> well <laughs> well thank that's you so you... much nort yeah and we are gonna say goodbye to nort as the goodbye. nepalese narwhals select their next And with the 26th pick in the 2021 draft, the Nepalese Narwhals select Caden, main support. Which one was Caden? Uh, well, we're seeing, so we're seeing, we're starting to see the main supports go. I mean, Guku, you, you predicted that everyone would be waiting for, you know, to pick up their main supports and maybe even flex supports last. But at, at, right after you said that, there was, a, there was like a, an onslaught of people rushing to, to grab their main supports. I mean, 
Uh, what I, do you said, I said the main support gets picked up from the bottom to the top. It's not quite like that, um, but we are seeing them like kind of ignore Kokiri still, which is the highest SR player left in the entire pool. <laughs> yep, by 500 SR. Yep. Yep. Ah, yep. no, 200, 200. They're still Panda. So. <laughs> True. Uh, yeah, I know. And, I, it's uh, really heard of. <laughs> yeah, and if we're looking at secondary roles, there is Harchar on the flex support, uh, who we know to be pretty good at the 3,500. True. Uh, the next pick is already in. The people is quick on the draw. And Man knows the, what he wants. And with the 27th pick in the 2021 draft, the West Air's people select Centurion Flex DPS. Hey, hey, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. Yes. That's a very solid pick. Hey, Centurion. Hello. Cent, how do you feel about me this early on? Uh, I just want to get one of my teammates uh, interviewed after we win a match. And also, <laughs> shout out to my boy Fedora. He kind of. <laughs> Wants to have an interview. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's a little late to have the interview. You know, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's possible anymore, right? That's kind of unfortunate. Well, said. <laughs> just I just so you know, I was kidding about the friend pick. I'm uh, I'm sure you're gonna make some some money moves on Farah with this team. What do you think right. about that? Keep I that mean, P, keep that PMA up, right? That is true. I mean, you have Moraladane uh, as a a mercy player. I think you're gonna do all I right. I played in uh, on Elliot's team in. Open division. She's good. Yeah. How do you feel about playing against so many great hit scans, though? I mean, that's where Team Captain makes a choice on what I play. All right. Humble man of little words. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Centurion. No problem. And with that, we move on to the next pick. And the rats. The 28th pick in the 2021 draft, the Richfield Rats select Flip Flop Flex Support. Good flex support. Uh, mm-hmm. Playing flip flop last season was a uh, was a joy. She had a very very good Ana. It's definitely a good pick. Um, honestly, a little bit of a of a sleeper pick. I mean, coming in pretty late in the draft. Honestly, I think flip flop deserved to be picked a little, picked a little bit earlier. Oh, all right, sure. Hello, flip flop. Imagine calling me a joy to play with, Robble. <laughs> I, I gotta know, how do you feel about not being on the same team as Speedy? You know, I, I'll always love her. <laughs> but, you know, what a tragedy. But you know what? I'm fine with this, too. <laughs> Make great That's things happen good. on the Richfield Rats, right? Yeah, you, you know, um, it's, what a shame that Fedora didn't get interviewed, but... Uh, yeah, okay, same. is this all we're gonna get? Now? <laughs> oh, get her out of here! Get her out of here! <laughs> <laughs> and the, the next pick is in, so uh, moving all on right. to the Farmington Fisherman. Thank you so much. Bye bye. And with the 29th pick in the 2021 draft, the Farmington Fisherman select the Kraken Hit Scan DPS. Oh, all right, Kraken one DPS. DPS. Yeah, one of the highest SR gainers of last season. I think he went from uh, like twenty two hundred, I want to say, to three thousand. That's a hundred. Uh, yep, kind that of is. Noted. So the the Q warrior, I'd say. Uh, I think this is a really good pick. Honestly, he's been playing a lot of uh, with some other organized teams, so he's got that like team cohesion. Uh, you know shot calling, all that all that work that besides just raw mechanics that goes into being a good player. Uh, so I think that's a that's actually a really smart pick. I, I gotta agree. I was on a test with team with Kraken uh, last semester and a great guy, great player, really helped the rest of the team uh, just with his game knowledge. Um, he was also one of the one of the people in the uh, in last season of intramurals who got picked pretty late, maybe a little overshadowed because you know, the big story was how late I got picked, but he was also picked criminally late. And, it, it was, uh, he was like last round. Yeah. To be sure. yeah. And amazing player, too. Um, definitely glad to see him get some redemption here. He's one of the few names I remember from last from the draft <laughs> last season because <laughs> both him and you were so late picked up. <laughs> yep. Well, let's see value, who... guys. Value. Okay. <laughs> so you're the, the monkeys. Pick is in. Yeah. <laughs> 
bring to their pack. And with the 30th pick in the 2021 draft, the Moon Monkeys select HV Sec Hit Scan DPS. Really, really great DPS player. Yeah, that's. Also I mean, that's him on the uh, Rough Riders last uh, season. Great player. Was able to flex on a lot of roles, deceptively uh, large amount of roles that he can play, uh, given the uh, given the uh, the player sheet. Amazing player, really, and can just make wonders, especially when you can make space for him. Which, I mean, looking at this team, look at the Moon Monkeys, their strong support line, their strong tank line. Like, there's no way they don't. You know, he's just going to be able to capitalize on it so well. Yeah, I mean, when you've when you've got such a strong uh, tank and support line, you really just want value picks out of your your DPS line. And like honestly, like HVSec is probably better better than I expected. Like if like ideally, you're just looking for a, a DPS player that can do damage and not and not like die, and then let the tanks do the work. But like HVSec is going to do a lot more than that. I think the Moon Monkeys are going to be really strong contenders uh, this year. Yeah, I, I I hope so. I mean, they 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 did my strategy of picking up supports and tanks first, so. Uh... <laughs> About to get kicked off this desk if they don't. <laughs> All right, and I think the next pick for the Rita Raccoons are in. And with the 31st pick in the 2021 draft, the Rita Raccoons select Historius main support. I am going to have to check where this was. I'm going to need some reminders on, on what they picked up, on who they picked up before. Um, the Rita Raccoons picked up Ro Con no, Roar, uh, and then they picked up Arctic, and, and then adapt. they're picking up Historius, and then they get one more. Or am I missing one? Uh, they picked up Adapt. Oh, Adapt. They yeah. just picked up Historius. They already have two main supports. Interesting. Yeah, that's a lot, that's a lot of main supports. Maybe they're thinking. Maybe they're trying to plan for the SR cap there. Uh, Where is good group. right now too? Yeah, and as I as I live with Historius, he is a very nice person. He is definitely someone that you'd want to have in comms with you. Uh, so, you know, there's also that boost to team morale, the, the most underrated stat, perhaps. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, we're getting to the point, right, where I, I'd expect we see some people getting picked up for off-rolls, and I'm still surprised we have so many tanks left. Yeah. Um, I guess it's maybe because a lot of the captains were tanks. Uh, yeah, I was, I was really expecting tanks to be, like, the you know, take them as fast as possible because there's not a lot of them and, you know, it maybe even dip down into the lower SR ranges just to make sure you can have one. Um, but as you said, you know, three of the captains were main tanks. Uh, I think two Every or captain three. but one is a tank player. Yeah. So so <laughs> that, that definitely is going to play into it. But I'm, su I'm surprised the, the tanks, are, the tank captains aren't picking their, you know, Offer main tank counterparts. Yeah. I mean, some of them did, right? I mean, I, I guess Bonesy picked me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind. Okay, we're going <laughs> to we go on. The next pick is in from the two Swan. Picks for the, two picks for the Swan. Oh, two. Big. With the 32nd pick in the 2021 draft, the Saigon Swans select Riddle Dog off tank, and their 33rd pick has not yet been announced, so we're waiting on that. Right, well. Yeah, well, we'll wait on the 33rd pick, but Riddle Dog. Riddle Dog. So, There's Riddle the... Dog? Yeah. yeah, that's a secondary role player. Yeah, but it's higher than the main role they signed up for, right? Mm hmm. So, I guess I guess it's the same case as me. I feel, ba I feel for you, Riddle Dog. Just want to <laughs> have some fun. I will say, uh, Riddle Dog's off tank SR is lower than the other two remaining main roll off tanks. Uh, so I'm thinking that might be, you know, a personal relationship pick. Uh, yeah. Not not to say that Real Dog is not going to absolutely pop off more than Panda Bro, FTW, or Baticus Binch would. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's just the, these... I think now that we're getting into the later rounds... It's going to be more so like who you know, who you have that connection with, and maybe a little less so uh, strictly based on SR. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna disagree a little bit. I think as one of the the off tanks that's been passed up, like I I totally expected this. Like in the late rounds, uh, you just want to pick people that are 
are solid players, but most of all, like, will get you within that SR cap. I think now teams are negotiating their SR cap. They've already got their fraggers. You know, the off tank role, that's really a fragger role. You want you want someone strong on off tank. So you don't want to be spending a lot of your, your SR money uh, on an off tank that isn't really going to frag that much. And, you know, speaking for myself, I play, you know, a little too defensively on the off tank. I'll, I'll admit that right away. Uh, so since I'm not going to frag, I'm not, I don't think I'm worth the 3308, uh, the 3308 cost if I'm not going to frag. On the other hand, you know, me and Panda, like, we're both great flex players. Or I guess Panda's a great flex player. I kind of, I can play other roles. My SR is low enough on them. Uh, so, you know, like, so now, uh, you know, now we're, now we're kind of, uh, I think me and Panda are just in the boat of, we're, we're definitely going to be picked up for, for an off roll. Um, although I do think Panda can frag out a lot, a lot harder yeah. than I can. I, I will say there are three players left that are below 2250. Um, which is a huge, like those pickups at this point are really good, especially if you have a lot of high SR players on your team. So I'd expect those will go, and then we'll see these kind of uh, like plat to low uh, low diamond picks come through. I don't know though. It also it also depends on the players and personal relationships. And stuff. I think Panda <laughs> gets picked up next for the flex and picked up? for the friendship points for the friendship points. For the friendship friendship points? I think they've played together before on video okay, games. Okay, well I guess we'll see. The next pick is in. With the 33rd yeah. pick in the 2021 draft, the Saigon Swans select I'm a Potatoes main support. Are you going to announce the next one? There? <laughs> they already did. No, it, okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think that makes sense. I, I'm surprised you wouldn't go for Kokiri if you're going to pick up an above diamond flex or main support, but. Well, or wait, it, did it flex support? It's main support, but they do also uh, uh, yeah. have. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 never mind. I'm looking at the wrong teams. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, maybe they're just looking at the SR cap still. Um, and I, uh, they, they do still have Riddle Dog, right? Who they just picked up. Who they could always just swap uh, Real Dog into support if they really wanted to. You know, mm -hmm. I think it's just kind of like an extra safety pick and just keeping it under the SR cap. I think uh, picking up Kokiri would actually just put them a little bit above the SR cap because they have some high SR players on their team. Yeah, yeah, I do uh, think there's a lot. Of, oh, sorry. I do think there's a lot of value to be had from picking up one of the the last three uh, low SR players just to to make things work. But you know, maybe the the raccoons are going to pick them up right now. Yeah. Uh, the next pick is the Rita raccoons. With the thirty third or thirty fourth pick in the two thousand twenty one draft, the Rita raccoons select Harchar Hitscan DPS. Were they missing a Hitscan DPS? I assume so. In which case, I, they already be. had uh, they already had Arctic, so it could it could just be the uh, the flexibility that Archer offers because Archer does have uh, as well support as an off role. Um, I don't think they have anything as a third role, but just, I mean, uh, it, good, it could also be you want to run two hit scans. I mean, I, we true, talked about true. this last draft as well. It's like it's not the end of the world to have two hit scan DPS or two flex DPS. Mm -hmm. Um, point, because the DPS pool is so wide in general that you're pretty much never going to have everything covered. Um, and especially in Intermural, you could get away with almost any hero as Fedora Master has proven. And I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't know if Ox uh, knew this, but uh, I do know Trey does like to experiment around with the Genji picks a little bit. Kind of likes messing around on projectiles sometimes. So uh, could maybe have known that from, uh, from just being around Trey possibly, or Arctic. Uh, Maybe he accounted for that. Yeah. Uh, and the Moon Monkeys are our next pick. Uh, so we'll roll right into that. And with the 35th pick in the 2021 draft, the Moon Monkeys select May One Trick. <laughs> oh, sorry. Walla King. Flex DPS. Hey. <laughs> you know, perhaps that was a little rude of our commissioner, but he is not <laughs> wrong. Uh, there is definitely one, one person I play better than all the rest uh of my my champs and that's me um so you know i'm happy to be picked up yeah i mean with a tank line that solid having a having a may player you know you just you select you you just you instantly lose and then you you select king's row and then you win yeah although i, I don't think uh, this team's gonna be instantly losing round one they're kind of one of the strongest oh, no. teams right now i mean yeah, the great I, thing about well, may is you create space for your tanks right <laughs> mm-hmm yeah, and you know, if if need be, I could play 
some other character. Uh, I have been some other character. You know, you know. I know uh, Orion's a proponent of of the monkey, so perhaps to follow him. I have been practicing the echo, so I that may that may be a taste of what's to come. But it looks like the next pick for the Farmington Fisherman is in. Yeah. And with the thirty sixth pick in the two thousand twenty one draft, the Farmington Fisherman selects Llama King main support. Two kings in a row. Yeah, the royalty rolling in. You know, I feel like uh, I'm starting to sound like a broken record here, but again, this is just uh, another Muskies uh, player. It's really, right now, it's shaping up to be the Muskies plus Kraken. Uh, pretty scary team, honestly. You know, could could really make something happen like they did last year or semester. Yeah. You know, this is kind of interesting. I, I really do think that uh, Koala King and Llama King were picked back to back last time as well. I mean, maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken, <laughs> I, but I'm I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I I was I was a captain. I was a captain last oh, year. Oh yeah. I I, there, I actually I actually picked Llama King last. Oh, year. Oh, that's what it was. I uh, immediately traded him to <laughs> someone else. To meet, to meet the other <laughs> yeah. There, there could only be one. There could only be one king. I understand. <laughs> Yeah, this is, my, uh, uh, this, this is a monarchy. There's I put on my one. smart person glasses for this uh, for this event. I think I think I've uh, I think I should take them off at this point. I haven't been saying <laughs> anything really smart. <laughs> All right, so what do, uh, we got uh, the next pick probably already in. Yup, it's in. Okay, uh, so we're gonna move on to the Richfield Rats. With the thirty seventh pick in the two thousand twenty one draft, the Richfield Rats select Hefe main tank. I like tanks. Tanks are good. Yeah. Uh, oh, we can. Ooh, I also do someone. like Hefe. Hefe does have a cool name too. Yeah. Hello, Hefe. Wait. Hello, Hello Hefe. Hefe. Whoa. Hello. Hey. So you're gonna be playing with um, you're gonna be playing with Rusty, uh, Riley, Riley, Rusty Goomba. Uh, you know he's 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 a great main tank player. Um. But he also picked you up as a main tank. You know, do you do you foresee the uh, the Reinhardt Winston composition, the Cleave comp being played in your future? You know, I'm no stranger to stuff like that. I wouldn't be surprised if if Ball goes out of meta that, or if Ball stays in because I can I can play Ball. But if a double main tank meta comes around, I would not be surprised if we run double main tank. Have you ever seen the movie Chef? I have not. <laughs> Okay. That's a good Never movie. Mind, then. <laughs> right. John Favreau? Yeah, yeah. Uh, with that, uh, thank you, Hefe. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Uh, we are moving on to the next pick by the Beebles. And with the 38th pick in the 2021 draft, the Buenos Aires Beebles select Uberzecker main tank. You know, again, uh -huh. another situation of double main tanks. With the uh, with the early Papa Trice main tank pick, yeah, pretty interesting. True, <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, uh, yeah, it, it does seem to, it does seem that like people are getting kind of picked in groups. Like there's like a string of like a couple main tanks, and then there's like a string of a couple supports. And you know, I I, I don't know if like the captains are perhaps you know basing their picks you know, somewhat on what other people are prioritizing, if they're even thinking that much at this point, or if they're just, <laughs> you know, throwing darts at a board. Yeah, and now the... I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Uh, Frobel and I's team is going to get the next pick. <laughs> oh, no. We're the narwhals. No, narwhals. Uh, narwhals. 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 I forgot about the narwhals. Yeah, the narwhals get the next pick, and the pick is already in, so... <laughs> And with the 39th pick in the 2021 draft, the Nepalese Narwhals select Simeon Main Tank. Another main tank. That's God. our third main tank in a row. I wonder if we can make it four, but uh, I gotta say, Simeon definitely a, a good main tank. Uh, his SR only listed as 2869, but he has actually hit 3100, I think, this season. Um, solid player. Can, uh, can definitely show up for the team, but a uh, third time in a row too, where it's a situation of double main tanks, because that's Purple Jesus and Simeon on the same team. I mean, double main tank must just be meta right now. But a uh, very, very interesting pick. Yeah, and so now we move on to Frobble and I's team. And I was gonna say, 
we need uh, another DPS player, technically. Wow, another D- he needs another DPS player. Man, I wonder wonder who's willing to flex on a DPS. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I, all I'm saying is it could lower the SR cap out here. Lower the SR cap? I, I, you know, I think Booney is pretty stinky. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really a perfect fit for this team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Factual. I'm sorry, Booney. Oh, we're oh, getting the master. Get him out of here. Oh, oh, I'm in rats. I'm rats. Look at me. I'm rats. Do we, do yes. Do we have the fedora? <laughs> we, we, I'm yes, rats. We have the fedora. You know what? I've got a. Right. I've got a. I don't question. know if I just muted. For a second. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a I've got a question. So uh, everyone kind of you know you played you played the Torb you played the Bastion you know wacky unprecedented, uh, but now everyone knows you as as the Torb Bastion guy. Are you gonna are you gonna pick up some other wacky hero and like one trick them for some for some fresh variety? Or are you just sticking with Torb? Rat. Looks like he's gonna play Junkrat. Um, <laughs> Junkrat. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, uh, yeah. Rat. Wacky. 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 I I must live up to the team's name. Very quirky. I must Zora. become rat. You know, that's you know, that's something we didn't really talk about uh, in the draft. Is you know, team flavor, right? You really want you really want people um, that fit fit the the flavor of your team, your brand image. So like you know, having a joke at one <laughs> trick on the rat. Uh, you know, the little creature for the rats. Think, um, <laughs> little creature of the night. Mm, yes. I think uh, you know. Bonesy's uh, main tank pick is pretty stinky, so that that kind of fits. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Imagine knowing what people pitch because you're paying attention, not just saying rat every two seconds. Mm. <laughs> okay, get him oh. out of here. Oh. The next pick <laughs> is in. in so. Good interview. Good, good interview. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Rats. And with the yeah. 40th pick in the 2021 draft, the Smelly Boonies select. Maple hits scan DPS, and with the 41st pick in the 2021 draft, the Smelly Boonies select Bashi, main support. All right, Maple is a solid pick, solid DPS player. Uh, really solid DPS player. And, you know, I feel like the Bashi pick, don't know why, I just feel like this is something Bonesy would do, but uh, I just feel like he's trying to take up another main support, try and uh, make it so that they have to pick between Kakiri or... or the, uh, oh, true. Yeah. The lowest SR player, Rincewind. So I don't know if there's any team missing a main support right now, but if they are, could could spell doom for them if they can't fit Kakiri under the uh, under the SR cap, or if they can't, uh, or if they can't turn Rincewind into a great player. You know, very very valuable role that you you definitely don't want to be uh, skimping out on. Yeah, and yeah. I mean. You, yeah, having another main support never hurts as well. You can always, true, yeah. uh, some people only play certain heroes. Yep. Some people get bored of Brig, and so you swap in the other person to play Brig. Uh, <laughs> I, I know what that's like. So Rotate the Brig Jail? <laughs> yeah, I rotate Brig Jail. <laughs> the sentence. next pick is it for the Nephilim's Narwhals, so we can move on to that. And with the 42nd pick in the 2021 draft, the Nepalese Narwhals select Zeus Flex Support. Great player, my king. Um, definitely hope he gets some play time this season. It was a little sad to not see him get, I don't think, that much play time. But uh, he's definitely a great player. Deserves that play time. Um, uh, just just a great player to have on your team. Definitely keeps the attitude up. Uh, the uh, Just the positivity. Just good vibes all around. Very glad to see him get drafted here. Hope he can make good things happen on the Narwhals. Yeah, I mean that's I mean that's kind of one of those picks where you're you're picking them uh, because their SR just fits really well, and I think you know especially like looking at this spreadsheet that us nice draft table have access to and the the viewers don't have access to, uh, we've got there are there are still three picks under two K. I mean if you're playing one of those players, they're players that you know room to grow, tons of room to grow. You can you can really help them out, become a better player, as we saw with Speedy. Uh, who was who was pretty low down at the beginning, but is now one of you know, one of the great players of the league. Um, and also, that you can like second run your pick. first pick, yeah, f- from last to, f- to second round pick. Uh, but also, like if you can run your first and second, your captain and your first pick in the same uh, in the same game at the same time, that's pretty that's pretty big, honestly. That's 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 that justifies the the SR drop in another role. Yeah, I think that solidified Kokiri as being the throbble of this season, right? <laughs> Definitely. They were a thousand SR. Or, no, I guess you, Baticus, I guess it could also be you still. 
Nah, because I think I'm going to be picked up on a. I'm definitely going to be picked up at a lower role. I think. I think anyone that's picking me up as a uh, as an off tank player is a little um, a little stupid. <laughs> so uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping about about that. Okay. I don't know. I, you know what? I'm gonna be real. I want to play. I want to play DPS. You know, like I can't aim, but but it's fun, and I, I pinky promise I won't feed. So you know, pick me up as a DPS guy. You'll play May and May and Sombra, baby. Hey, no, my Echo, my Echo. Oh, oh. I played yeah. one round of Echo uh, last last season, and uh, we lost. But y- you know, all in a day's work. <laughs> All right, so uh, our next pick is the Beebles. Our pick has been in. Uh, we actually have a few picks in, so <laughs> we'll see if Booty wants to go through more. Yeah, we can speed through a couple of these. <laughs> so with the 43rd pick in the 2021 draft, the Buenos Aires Beebles select Panda Bro for the win. Hit scan DPS. And with the 44th pick in the 2021 draft, the Richfield Rats select Kokuri, main support. And with the 45th pick in the 2021 draft, the Farmington Fishermen select Captain Conan, unknown right now. And <laughs> finally, with the 46th pick in the 2021 draft, the Moon Monkeys select Vaticus Bench. Uh, it says Flex Guy, but we're just going to edit that to a uh, Bench. Bench, Bench, Bench. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, we so see warm. You. We saw our last like super high, like higher SR players go away, so now we got. We got five players left. We got five picks left. I mean, I, I, I'd, I'd be dumb to try to predict these, but uh, I think there's. I mean, we could. I, I'd like to see uh, maybe Hyperbola get picked up next. Hyperbola I mean, played support. really. Hyperbola played really well uh, last season. They really, they really work. They really play well on a team environment. So they, they do kind of have um, a value pick. Uh, talking about the, the, the speed rush of what we just saw of picks. Uh, I was kind of surprised that Panda Bro went so so far deep. I mean, he's just like an overall great player in like pretty much every role he plays. Like any like like I got called Flex God, but like that's not true. I, like, I'm not I'm not good. Uh, Panda Bro is actually the Flex God, so I'm really surprised it wasn't picked up a little earlier. Yeah, and with that, we have our next pick for the uh, Ritos, the Rito Raccoons. <laughs> I forgot their name. Team Weave Team. And with the 47th pick in the 2021 draft, the Rita Raccoon select Magna hit scan DPS. Well, that's all the uh, the DPS off the table. You only got a, I think, one more as a secondary role in Flom Dog. But uh, as we saw, a lot of DPS picks went early. Um, right now, I think uh, teams are just looking for players just to, as subs or just to round out a roster. I think yeah. most teams are filled at this point. Um, just looking, looking for anyone they can find. Maybe a diamond in the rough here. I, I would hope that uh, most teams are filled. If you if you don't have your draft kind of sorted on what you want at this point, or I uh, mean, you could easily get snagged up because a lot of people are just gonna be picking from, kind of flipping a coin on these last few picks. You know, I don't yeah. disagree. I think I think Treebeard could be a very intellectual pick at this point. I mean, like. There's someone, they always show up for pugs, they're always playing the game, they're showing some dedication to, like, you know, clicking on the video game from their desktop and opening it up, <laughs> which is already more that can be said for, for a lot of people that were picked way before him. So, like, you know, I feel like Treebeard could be a great, uh, a great speedy example. You know, someone that yeah. played a little RSR, put them in a team environment, they, they play the video game enough, uh, and they get better. So I think, I think if you're willing to teach someone, you, you just, you know, Treebeard's like a no-brainer at this point. Gotta also say that I uh, I do know the uh, lowest SR player in the draft, Rincewind, um, and I know that he would be extremely glad to take the bench spot on any team. Um, <laughs> would be would be one of the best bench warmers you could have, uh, as he has said to me. Um, so, kind of throwing out his little advertisement out there. Uh, he's hoping he just doesn't get last. That's a victory in his eyes. <laughs> but uh, it looks like it looks like we got the we got the next pick. So, next two perhaps. Oh no. With the forty eighth oh. pick in the two thousand twenty one draft, the Saigon Swans select Hyperbola Zero Flex Support. Yeah, that's a good pick. Definitely like by far the highest SR player that was left. Um can is a I don't know if they already had a flex support. Uh I mean I'm sure they did, but I just don't know who it was. Uh okay, they had Kepha's flex support already, so this is just a good pick to have just for, you know, filling out heroes. Um Whichever, whichever kept doesn't play, I'm sure Hyperbola will get down and play it. 
definitely a good backup pick to have and pretty good steal this late into the draft at that SR, honestly. Yeah, I mean, you know, Hyperbola kind of goaded on the Ana can definitely can definitely hit those purples, which is, I mean, really all you can ask for from a, from a player, especially going this late, is just someone that can that can create so much value with just clicking E and aiming somewhat decently. Like that's, I mean, that's that's huge. Plus, plus you can run some of your better players because of the the slight SR uh, dip. So I think I think Hyperbola is a great pick right now. Yeah, I personally really like the Hyperbola pick if they're willing to be a really aggressive team. Because I think when he does the best is when he can, you know, have a little bit of that pressure taken off him and hit some of those flank nades. That's one of the things that I know he really likes to do. He likes to, you know, bounce them off of the ceiling and try to, try to like, find these weird angles to hit nades uh, because he plays on it so much. So I think if if... The team is willing to like play that super kind of aggressive style. I think that's actually going to be like a really high value pick. Yeah, and with that, we have our next pick as well, uh, the Swans. And I think we're almost at the end here. We got. We are. Yeah, we are at the end. This is the last the pick, right? Last, last three. Oh, there's three picks. Two picks. Okay, last three. There's two picks technically. And with the 49th pick in the 2021 draft, the Saigon Swans select Treebeard Main Tank. And with the 50th pick in the 2021 draft, the Rita Raccoon select Flom Dog Flex Support. And with the 51st pick in the 2021 draft, the Moon Monkeys select Rincewind. The protagonist is the title he's been given. <laughs> well, a little sad to see Rincewind going that far uh, all the way at the end. He's uh, messaging me on Discord right now, laughing about how low he got picked. Uh, didn't didn't have very high expectations, but a little. I'm I'm sad for him. I'm really feeling the pain, you know, the embarrassment of being last pick. But uh, <laughs> definitely glad to see him uh, ride the bench on the Moon Monkeys this uh, this season. Oh, what do you mean ride the bench? He's that. he's the protagonist. <laughs> he's literally in his name. The, the face of the Moon Monkeys. Um, <laughs> this is where you see. This is where you see the retribution arc. This actually, is where you see. <laughs> actually, though, I remembering I'd, I'd have to again have to do verification, which I, for some reason I cannot figure out the verify SR stuff at all. Um, I can't edit. Uh, but <laughs> the the moon monkeys have very high SR players. Um, and so I wouldn't be surprised to see Rincewind coming in at least a few times over the season. I mean, I'm just um, saying I see a Mr. Irrelevant award for him in the future. Um. That, that's that's all I got to say about him. Definitely a great uh, pick. Goaded player, honestly. Like, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see how these teams shape up. Yeah, this is, I mean, having been Julian, me and you, we, we sat through the last draft. Uh, oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> I, don't know about, I don't know about you. I'm feeling a lot better about this one. I feel like this is going to be a lot closer. Um, yeah, the team, but, I, I think the, the teams were picked a little bit more... I don't want to say logically than last time. I'd say it. Maybe I'd, I'd say, say it. logically. Say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd also say, you know, the captains are all a very high SR, whereas last, last year we had, you know, captains all the way down. I think we had, like, I, I don't know who the bomb was, if it was, like, gold like or silver, and then all the way up to, like, top 500. Uh, so, you know, that, that could play into it as to... Yeah. Perhaps easing some of the discrepancies. Yeah, so I think it's good. Looks, who do you good. think? I, you know, I don't think I don't think we're gonna have another Marty situation. Uh, but if there was a team that you'd have to say the, these are the Martys, who is it? <laughs> Who's your you prediction? Know, maybe I just don't know it too well. Don't know the logic behind it. I hate to throw it out there like that. I I, re I really hope I don't end up eating my words in the future. But uh, I'm not so I'm not so high on the Beebles right now. I didn't really understand a lot of their picks. You know, maybe I, I, I'm just saying, like, it's it kind of reminiscent of the Marty situation. I, I hope they play Papa Triste on that support because Papa Triste has, has a great support. Not that Papa Triste doesn't have a great tank, it's just that I've never seen it, you know? It's a little worrying, you know, seeing that diamond pick up next to all those masters and grandmasters I, players. I am praying for the Beebles right now that they realize. <laughs> I'm telling you this now, okay? You can switch BBQ onto off tank. <laughs> okay, and then you put path on main tank and tree stay on support, oh. and I think you're still under SR cap, and your team is actually good. 
Right, let, let's just but, let's... But prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me I mean, wrong. you know, Kath, pretty, pretty, pretty goaded on the Moira. Saw that top five hundred climb. I mean, it could, it could happen. I couldn't have been my words, you know. Like, like uh, I, this could be an amazing team, though. Uh, part of me hopes that they aren't because uh, my team needs to win the entire thing very oh, yeah. easily. Dare I say? Yeah. Um, we we got this in the it, It's over already, mm. basically. It ended at the draft, guys. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, these are some. I don't know. You're talking. Monkeys. You're talking to two of the carries of the Moon Monkeys over here. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Crazy. Well, Divided desk, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So everybody, everybody can go in the general in the Discord and start uh, cheering for their team. I think we do. We have the emotes up. I don't oh, know. we have the emotes up. Yeah, I mean, we can use the emotes. We can cheer for our teams. Looking at general, people are high on the rats. The rats are probably a fan favorite. Reminding me of the Greenland Goblins already. Ooh, just a, a fun team. It looks like. Well, if we've got another minute, I've got another question for the desk. Uh, you know, behind me, I've had the My Hero Academia poster. <laughs> Uh, the whole time, you know, like, you know, My Hero Academia, you know, great characters, but really what, what brings the show out to me is they've got some great and interesting villains, right? Uh, do you think there's a team that's, that's, that's going to be the villains this year? I think I know who they are, but I want to hear what you guys think. I hope they're us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want to I be the villains, dude. I think, uh... I, I mean, I hope you're the villains, too, because, you know, the <laughs> villains lose. I mean, clearly you've never seen Infinity oh. War, but okay. No, I, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Problem so, dropped. Wow. Well, the, the, uh, the Comstock Hall internet broke for a second, but I, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, okay. I thought you were so offended by being called a villain, you just had to dip. No, I'm, I'm fine with it. You know, I'm fine with it. We're gonna come out on top, no matter what happens. Villains are villains are heroes. I mean, I'm cool with being a villain as long as we're winners and then, you know. I think <laughs> I think I think a lot of people saw the Muskies as the villains last uh, last season. You know, I think I think uh, we can we can take that mantle of theirs and just uh, make it even even more villainous. You know, my my biggest goal is just not to give the Muskies the two time at this point. Oh, of course, <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening. Just. This this team is unstoppable. Our team is unstoppable. Someone's uh, verifying our SR. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Villains are hey, getting like good. Looks like we're good. Oh, we're clean. Villains are, oh my god, it's perfect. It's perfect. We. we <laughs> I don't have, know what the cap is. What's the average? Uh, thirty three. Yeah, 30, we're we're, 30, we're sitting oh, comfy yeah. right now. Oh, we're sitting, sitting comfy. comfy. Oh my goodness. Comfy Can you sub in? Music maniac. Whoever is running the draft right now on that test instead of Bashi. I just want to see. Because that's our other player. Who else do we have? I just want to see. I think that's it. Up. I think we only have seven. Okay, well. All right. Oh, we're, good. we're under with either either edition. Okay. Yeah, we're coming for you guys. It, uh, no issues with the SR cap here. Not at all. <laughs> oh. What a beautiful team, um, truly. Triste asked in the chat, are trades going to be a thing? I, I assume they're allowed. I'd have done verified with the commissioner. Trades are allowed. Um, obviously, your team has to work out the trade. So uh, good luck with that. Um, and I do know of already a couple people who are planning on signing up f as a free agent. So for anyone watching the stream who perhaps was not part of the draft, you can always uh, become a free agent through uh, the Discord, through messaging uh, I believe Booney is the, the person to message for that. Uh, so if you'd like to participate in this uh, league, feel free to do that. If you're, if you're lucky enough, you might end up on the Sweaty Boonies, uh, the future winning team. Yeah. I, I hate to keep saying it, but it just happens, you know? But yeah. And with that, good luck to everybody this season. Um, I am excited to be casting your games and playing against you, so... Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be a very excited season. I hope everyone's hyped for this. Get it done, baby. <laughs> one thing, one thing before we go. Uh, to anybody interested, we do have. Uh, is it next weekend? Oh my god, it's it's already yeah, next yeah. weekend. Next weekend is the. I think we yeah love at first fight still. Uh, <laughs> love at first fight tournament is love at first flight. I didn't say it. Okay, right. um, I didn't name the tournament. Um, but it'll be fun. Uh, it'll be like a pretty casual arcade tournament. Um, all U of M students uh, are eligible for prizing. I think we're still allowed to have non U of M students, but I, I, yeah, I don't. Know. It'll say on the forms. 
Got to uh, say, I'm, I'm not the leader. That's Macro's job. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Per- personal advertisement. I am looking for love. If anyone would like to, uh, would team up oh, with, no. me with the with the UM and Overwatch event. I've got it. I've got a no one. I've got a no inquiries. I really need a partner, please. Brother, not. this isn't this isn't a this isn't a dating simulator. This <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not a dating simulator. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I need someone to help me win. You know, I need someone to help me win this tournament. I need the Get prize money. T- go on, go on, <laughs> go on Tinder and find your perfect no, duo. Uh, this, uh, this is your space. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Oh well, with uh, with that wacky hijinks uh, from the depths, <laughs> I think uh, I think we're ready to conclude uh, the second draft for the University of Minnesota intramural. Uh, good luck to all the teams. Oh, Overwatch League, go, not go intramural. For, go for Watch League. Yeah. Oh, go for Watch. Go for Watch League. Right, right, right. Fun fact about the Go for Watch is that's what the the U of M team used to be called. So it's it's nice to see it evolve. <laughs> All right, well, I'll uh, go for watch players and fans. Good luck this season. Uh, I'm rooting for all of you, except for one team. (laughs) Bye-bye, guys. All right.